Hi, I'm Christopher Damari, Senior National Account Manager at Barrett Medical, the maker of BERT. Now, the purpose of this video is to provide an overview of BERT, but this is intended, the intended audience, and this is, if this isn't you, please stay on if you're interested. But this is meant for those people, those facilities that want to have a, a demo or schedule a demo of BERT, because I want you to have an idea of what it does so you can start thinking about which patients you want to use with the machine. Because what we find a lot of times in our demos, and we do three-day demos typically, is by day two or day three, people who were on the initial meeting and were just encountering Burke for the first time have begun to think about and realize what patients they could use and how they could use it. I wanna jumpstart that process. We wanna jumpstart that process so that when we come in on day one, you have a better idea, maybe have some patients in mind already so that we can we can just get as many people in the system, in the bird as possible, and just get your patients um, engaged and having fun and getting great therapy. So here's the basics. BERT, its origins come from the MIT AI, AI lab. Our founder and CEO, Bill Townsend, was pursuing his PhD there. He was told by all the titans of the, of the industry, uh, of the field at the time, that humans and robots couldn't work together because, you know, those robots back then in the 80s were industrial robots that could rip off an arm if you got in the wrong way or they, with such force and torque. Well, Bill, tinkerer by nature, builder by trade, PhD by MIT, came up with what's called the wham arm, which is the basic arm that you'll see on BERT. It's back drivable, which is a key feature. It means it's safe. You can move it around, back drivable. You know, it took me three days to figure this out in training initially, but what it really means is you can move it around. The only arm you have to worry about is the human arm that's in the BERT. You don't have to worry about BERT. It's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna jerk you around. It's very, very nice and considerate to our human bodies. So the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab in the 2000s bought one of our commercial arms and we're like, what are you guys doing? Well, what they were doing was programming it to do therapy. Like, oh, that's very interesting. So in conjunction with them and with Spalding and then you know, yada, 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 many years later, BERT was developed. So BERT is, the Barrett Upper Body Robotic Trainer. And its key features are, it's simple to use. You can get a patient in and out in about 30 seconds once you know what you're doing. You just line up their arm with this blue line right here on the, on the arm, line up the mid shoulder of their arm, get their wheelchair in close, put their hand in, and you're good to go. The next step is gravity elimination, where we create an upward force so that it simulates like as though their, their arm is floating in a pool or floating in space. It's kind of like a mobile arm support. And then the, next, the step after that is another feature is our range of motion. And the screen on, on, that you're seeing right now is where the patient develops the range of motion by moving. And maybe a stroke patient, trace patient has very little movement. Well, guess what? This is the arena. This is the play space where the games and activities can be played. So if it's this small, you can play a game. But you can also have folks that have tremendous range of motion, full range of motion, but might have a traumatic brain injury or other neural insult. Where you wanna work on cognitive functions or just range of motion in general, you can do that. If you just wanna work above the shoulder, you can do that. If you wanna work a particular area, you can do that. It's totally customizable, and you can change the range of motion from within any one of our screens, not just the initial menu. The next is what we have is we have our modes. We have training, assessments, and playlists. Most of the time you'll spend with BERT is at training. That's where all our activities and games lie. Assessments have their place as well. Assessments, what we have are strength assessments where the machine is, BERT is measuring different planes of movement, how strong you are, your overall strength, your average strength, your maximum strength, as well as your range of motion where we can show you a 3D image of the patient's range of motion, as well as display it in cubic feet, so the volume of their movement. Playlists are essentially, it's like your Spotify or Apple Music or whatever playlist where you string together a bunch of different things to create a 15 or 20 minute or 30 minute set of activities that go together. But most of your time will be spent in training. So here we are, we're in training now. And I have a remote control, and this remote control is designed to allow you as the therapist to interact with your patient without having to come up to the machine. You can do everything with this remote that you can do with the mouse and the keyboard. So we have three modes. We have patient acts, BERT assist, and BERT resist. They're at the top of the screen, these right kind of Well, we believe in truth in advertising here at Barrett Medical. So we call patient max means the patient is doing the work. Other than the gravity elimination, 
the patients doing all the work in patient max games and activities. In BERT Assist, well, you guessed it, the BERT is assisting, hence the name BERT Assist. There are motors in this machine, so it's moving the patient through space to places they can't go on their own. BERT Resist is where the BERT is resisting the patient. What's the purpose of movement and range of motion if you don't have strength? So we wanted to create a way for you to help build strength. So you'll notice there's a final element up here and there's a padlock. Well, that's because we can lock BERT into planes of movement. Now, you'll see some other um, upper extremity trainers or robotics up there that are like limited to a table where you're moving your arm along a table. Well, we have that too. We can create a virtual table, but you can play the games without a table. The easiest examples of this would be like, for instance, air hockey. So you can play air hockey unlocked where your arm is just moving through space however you want. It just matters where you are for pushing that paddle forward to hit the puck. But if you want to play air hockey like it's really on an air hockey table, truly simulate it, you can create a virtual table. So you just choose where that table is. Once it's set, the patient's arm is like locked to the table. They can't raise it up, can't bring it down. They can only slide their arm along a table. So it simulates a real air hockey experience. So we have other ways we can limit your range of move movement. And the whole idea here, of course, is to cut down on compensatory movements where you know, if you're trying to get to the right hand side to the left, you can use a lot of your trunk and, and move it, and you're completing the movement, but hey, we want this to be strict, so we're gonna lock you here, and this is all you can do. You can't pull in, can't pull out, up or down. You can only go left to right. So those are the key features of BERT we have. Um, it, it, it's good for stroke patients, neuro, any sort of neural insult, or orthopedics. We've seen it used with patients who have burns, traumatic brain injuries, because we do have cognitive games as well. We're always updating it with something called BERT Care, which is our innovative program, where we update the machine twice a year. There's a billiards game coming down the line. I've seen it in development and played with it. It's awesome. There's a driving game that's coming down, and we even have greater plans for the driving game in the future, because we want to start getting those ADL type of um, exercises in here for you folks. And um, another past update was resistance mode, Catch master. We even have a continuing, continuous passive movement element. But what I want you to think about when it comes to these demos is it's easy to use, easy to get in and out. And what we want you to start thinking about is yes, stroke patients for sure. Because you can create a space and then create a bigger space and have Bert bring them to places where they can't go on their own. But I want you to think about all those patients that might benefit from Bert and just give it a shot and come on in, take it for a test drive. I like to compare this to like a an M5, you know, there's a 5 Series BMW, it's a very nice car, very capable. There's a version called the M. You can go get your groceries and drive down the road and take your kids to, to church or whatever you do in your M5. You can also bring it on the racetrack. You can also take a corner quite fast. But the only, I can, I can tell you about it all day, you can read about it. The only way you're ever gonna understand it is by sitting in the thing and driving it. Same thing with Bert. You'll never get a feel for what it feels like, for how it helps move your arm, and how engaging the games are until you actually use it, until you see your patients use it. It's really a special experience. We've had many moments in gyms that are just, it takes our breath away. We're blessed to come into your gym and work with you on this. And we'd love to come in, show you what we can do and see if you like it. Thanks.